Happy day after double eviction day. Yes, last night's episode of BB was epic. I mean, so much went down on that episode. It was like back to back like stuff with the exception of the Turner. Turner is this trendsetter, this new innovator of language um, segment, which was such BS. But ultimately, you know, like they gave Turner, they gave Turner like credit for coming up with facts. Like, really? This is not Turner's language? Turner is stealing his language from the urban kids. He's stealing his language from the internet, from TikTok, from UrbanDictionary.com. So stop giving. They gave Turner this edit that was like, okay, he's going to be the new sweetheart because Kyle's no longer in the house. But anyhow, speaking of not being in the house, the whole jury segment, I, you know, it happened. And people were like, yeah, Joseph for the win. He was like, who protected you? The immigrant, the the Arab immigrant kid was protecting you. Yeah, but um, they were also giving Kyle that little, this, the continued fairy tale, all American. I just didn't know I'm just a kid. And you know what? I'm so tired of the Kyle is just a kid um, narrative that's out there. Kyle is 29, almost 30. You know how much I did by the time I was 29 and 30? And I was never considered a kid at that point. But, you know, Kyle entered the jury house. You know, we know that, you know, Joseph and Jasmine joined Indy. That was blah, 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 not too interesting. But when Kyle entered, you know, he's looking all like, oh, I'm going to approach this. Like, he was looking distraught. Like, he didn't know how to approach it. But honestly, I feel like their reactions were premeditated and coached. Like, I feel like Jasmine's, you said what? Was somewhat premeditated. Like, she was already prepared for it. And Indy walked off the set like she was so offended. Like, how dare you try to say that I was in cahoots with the black people? That's what I got from it. Like, she's like, I mean, it's 2022. How ignorant, you know? We have the internet. That's your argument? We have the internet? But yeah, we do have the internet. And then your ignorance, Kyle is i'm not buying it but anyhow so back to the main event terrence as we know got evicted and his speech you know he he had mentioned on the feeds that he was gonna go in on taylor but apparently he you know chose not to he was probably told by production don't do that don't do that and so basically he was telling him not to live in fear and to vote for yourself and you know like play your own game and and then the jury, the narrative in the jury house, we're going to be peeling back onions. It's like, joke will be on you soon, not rushing ahead. But you can't, like, what you going to do, what you want to do in a jury house, Terrence, won't happen because guess what? Michael's right behind you. But the funny thing with Terrence is, like, when he was first evicted, he he said to Julie that, you know, he wished he'd align with Taylor or whatever. But then in the next sentence, he's like, I hope Taylor will it'll make my, my soul, it'll put my soul at peace if Taylor is right behind me. Like, ta- like, I don't understand. And because I have not been invested in the fees, what is his beef with Taylor? Like, he, he takes every opportunity to go in with her. Like, even on the segment when they were like, when she had the handheld camera, like, who do you think? does not have the real career you know has a different career is lying about their career and he said i think i mean anybody could put a sash on and say miss michigan i was like damn you're really trying to discredit this girl but like so terrence is like number one hater and yeah he's he's gone to the jury house so he's a non-factor at this point but to the main event when they were all shocked they were relaxed after you know like he was sent to jury like, oh, the night's over, we can go relax, but dun, 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 dun. it's a jury, it's a double eviction night, it's double eviction night, Julie says. So then they play, and Turner wins, they play this this laser light game, like at a club, laser light, which color was seen the most, and Terrence probably would have won since he spent so much time in the karaoke bar and club, he probably would have won that, so it's good that he was gone. But Turner won, and oh damn, Turner won. But wait, and he nominated, he nominated Alyssa and Brittany, didn't he? Yeah, it, it all happened so fast. I'm like, did he had nominated 
Alyssa and Brittany, and so now they have to do veto, and it's some like untangling thing with a rope. To whoever can untangle and get the longest rope, which was you know it was supposed to be a cord to plug into an amp. Whoever does that first is the winner of the power veto. And you know it's like oh my god, I instantly thought Monty couldn't possibly win this because he's a big guy and the distance between untangling a rope and those bars he's not gonna win and i was like this game was set up for michael michael to win but you know like michael we thought he almost won like psh, he went but then that bungee cord pulled him back and then you know taylor thought she had it and the bungee cord pulled her back michael thought he had it again the bungee cord pulled him back uh, monty thought he had it once and the bungee cord pulled him back but then Mo monty got the win so, but then, like, that's not just the only exciting thing, because we're like, I hope they, because in the week, this past week, they were talking about, like, we need to have this men's alliance, you know, we need to keep Michael, which is so stupid. Like, why would you keep the person who's winning all of the comps? That's what Turner and Monty were doing. So, you know, when they have only five minutes between the, the commercial break to discuss strategy, Monty was like, nah. We got to take this shot now. And then the funny thing is, Turner was hesitant. Like, what? Why are you hesitant to take out? That shows that, like, a lot of these people are not very strategic. Or maybe, you know, they always say, all the people who come out, you really don't know how to play the game until you're in the house. Like, you really don't know how it really goes down. And I'm scratching myself a lot because there are mosquitoes out here. I'm in Houston and it's moist. Mosquitoes are just everywhere. But anyhow, so, like... Monty was like, nah, we got to do this. And then Turner was like, uh, we, we got to get everybody. We got to make sure everybody's on board. Look, everybody's on board, Turner, to get him out. They, you, they've been talking about targeting Michael for weeks. Keep up, Turner, and don't be a punk. And, you know, the funny thing is, so Turner, um, I don't know what the funny thing is. I lost my train of thought. The funny thing is, this was a short HOH, as we know. But this was Monty's HOH. This was definitely Monty's HOH, and I'm glad Monty stepped up. He basically he almost needed to slap Turner. Get it together! We're taking out Michael! So then, you know, they get to the speeches, and Brittany, you know, like, is upset. Like, anybody ever notice that Brittany, Brittany looks kind of like Kathy Bates? But a young Kathy Bates... But Britney's all upset, you know, she gives a generic speech, and I can't believe I have to do this, blah, blah, blah. But then Michael. Michael stars basically, first of all, Michael played the LGBT card. You know, like everybody's like, stop playing the racism card. You black people, somebody in my comments like, stop playing the race immunity card, whatever that is. Um, stop playing, but Michael sure did play that lgbt cards that like hit at turner and it's the funny thing is they're they haven't really mentioned turner being bisexual or part of the lgbtq community really much until this episode but it's like he's really trying to play that card like first of all you held the information about kyle's racism or racial biases you held that close to your chest until it was convenient to use a strategy and now you're playing the lgbtq card michael karma has hit you it's time to go then you threw i mean you had to fight for your life i mean i i mean i would have too like you threw the person who's been like working for you this whole game to be second place to you Brittany under the bus and she was so distraught like she was just so distraught even after like he was voted out like she was still like crying i can't believe he said all that stuff about me but you know what what do you think? Are you happy? Like, what should the next move be? Because, spoiler alert, Monty is HOH. Whereas, it would have been great for Taylor to get HOH for to advance those two. But now, it's like Monty says he's probably going to put up... He's going to put up Alyssa and Brittany. Like, those are two... Like, those are people you want to take to number two. But, is Monty still loyal to Turner for a final two? Or will he be loyal to Taylor? And if whoever wins the POV, if if Turner doesn't win the POV, will they put Turner up? Just asking for a friend. Like and subscribe.